All right, so I noticed that since I built this um, little camera holder, my fingers are out of the way a little bit better. So this is the Acaso Beach Tent BT-11. So this is going on the uh, Overland build up on top for the kids. So uh, nice leg shot, can't see myself too good. So, all right, unboxing, here we go. there's a little buffering from the time that I set the camera down. I believe that's built into the phone. Let's see how long this takes to put this thing together. So that's brand new packing. Akasogo Club. <laughs> that's a pretty neat card for your product. Let me see if you guys can uh, see that. That's a great idea. <clears throat> Might have to get a card like that together for uh, Stone Solid Production. Comes with uh, one bag, looks like for spikes. Well, it's one, two, three, four bags. That looks like your tent poles. I don't know what this is. Knots are tied pretty good. It's a slip knot. Spikes. So, spikes. Run all out. So, one, two, three, four. So, there's four in this one with some cord. And then your tent poles, another slip knot. So far, no instructions, but if you've been camping long enough, you probably shouldn't need them. But everybody that watches these videos hasn't always done stuff before. Here's your uh, post, little rubber band. So it looks like two. So there's one set up. I'm not gonna put them all together yet. I'm just gonna put two together. So there's two, two units, we'll put three together. One, two, three and leave the rest broke down. Let's see how that does. <coughs> so this is just a tent camp. I mean, um, a beach tent. So I wanted a place for the boys to, to hang out on top of the expedition. I do believe it looks like just a, a giant crisscross. So if I get off camera, uh, just bear with me or fast forward it. I pretty much don't edit my videos. So far it's solid all the way through and through. There's a break at the top. So that was one solid piece down on the side. Oops, came undone. I can tell you what, the older you get, the more so your knees get sitting on uh, concrete. So your kids are only young one time, and you better damn well uh, do stuff with them while they're young, because they're not always going to want to hang out with you. Ah, that just poked through. 
Uh, not through the material. I just lost the tent because I tent peg because it's separated. All right. So that there's a small little plastic applicator right there, two spots. It kind of recesses into it, which is nice. I like that. All right. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So let me do this. Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to go ahead and get the first arch in. And then you can use a stool. Not that you're going to have a stool out where you're camping, but you're going to have other people helping you. The kids or the misses or something like that. This is easy, man. Super easy. Give me a second, I'm gonna change that camera angle because right now all you see is blue. All right, pretty easy, that's one. I'm gonna set it up here. I want to get the video going of the uh, dive boat. <coughs> Because a lot of the companies that you uh, that you review, Saturn will give you a discount on future products that you purchase from them. And I really need, I gotta pull that back out, jump on the other side. I really need, I always hate saying that. Um, I require big rowing oars uh, for the dive boat. Because I want to kind of be able to go out uh, without an engine if I want to. Some places in Florida won't let you stick an engine in the water. That's a trolling motor as well. So I'd like to be able to row out to some of these places, you know, without having to get, I don't want to say hassled by the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard does a great job. They do a phenomenal job keeping people safe in the waterways, rescue and all that. Thank you for your service. All branches of the military, thank you. Um, But I wanted to uh, take this down real quick, separate it. So we're gonna do it that way too. But the oars are something that I've noticed with these things, they just skim through the water really lightweight and you don't scare away uh, wildlife, one, which that has a 25 on it. And it's also got wheels. Can't wait to show you guys the the dive boat project has been a, a boat I've always wanted to own ever since I was a little kid. We're almost here on this thing. It'd be a little bit easier with two people. Right now there's an overland guy watching this going, dude, come on, do it this way. But, oh well. We're gonna do it my way. Hopefully not snap one of them. I thought I was just going to do, but I didn't. All right, so this one's in on the bottom. Oh, this thing's pretty cool. Um, let me move some of my crap. Out of the in the garage. You always got to have crap in the way, right? It's pretty cool. And I needed the front of the tent, the way that I built the 
uh, the platform, I needed the front of the tent to be specifically on the ends. Yep, that one popped out. I'm gonna show you that in one second. Okay, we're in. <laughs> pretty cool. All right, this is where I may lose you volume wise, so it'll come back. Dive fins out of the way. All right, so fresh out of the box, I have a little separation from the zipper. I have two zippers, or just close that. And I believe this is for, um, you can't see it. There's a bag on each corner. I do believe that's meant for sand since it's a beach tent. So if you can't put, I mean, you're not gonna put those little tiny metal pegs in sand and expect the tent not to go anywhere. So that's a full body. We've got a tent there, or a screen. You have a screen here. This is why I ordered this thing. Check it out. It also has a side mount. So if the guys want to, you gotta figure out how, oh, check this out. <coughs> this is way cooler than I thought. So it's got a little plastic nodule Pulls that window up. I wanted them to be shaded by the sun. There you go. If you want to shade that one, uh, here. You can do the same thing here. Combine that one with this one, it looks like. I believe. Yeah, just poke it in there with that one. And then this one here. Oh man, this is incredible. Little storage space. I mean, it's not overly strong. It's not gonna hold a laptop. <clears throat> I mean, they've thought, when you go to roll this up, the, the front door, I'm not gonna grab the video because I'm pretty sure you can understand what I'm talking about. I'll grab the video in a second when I'm done so it doesn't um, interrupt my talking. But it's got a good heavy vinyl on the bottom. Oh, it's just not even really cheap and cheesy. This is like bungee. Oh, I gotta show you that. This is great. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so these are gonna be facing each other on top of the Expedition, on top of the XP. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and zip it all up. Decent quality on the zippers. I was a little scared on that first zipper. I mean, but this isn't a waterproof tent. I mean, I'm gonna use 3M and waterproof it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me grab some water. All right, you're gonna lose my volume for a second. Here we go. This is out of a dollar store phone holder, um, Vivitar camera stand. <laughs> Pretty cool. So check this out. I'm gonna flip the phone. There we go. So it's got those. And up on these, uh, hoping you can see that, man, I'm gonna feel really dumb. So it's on a little bungee that holds those up. So again, you gotta think, you know, this isn't a review for going out and like, you know, you wanna cover it with a tarp or something like that over the top. <clears throat> you could relatively make this waterproof. I'm gonna do a 3M spray 
just to help give it some tensile strength or, or strength for moisture. But yeah, man, this thing's all right. So not too shabby. Stand up. So I'm six foot two. Oh, blocking the camera. So I'm six foot two. Oh, it's bright outside. Hot outside too. And it's coming up to here on me. So I'd say dimensions wise, it's probably five, five foot. And the culprit it's going on, that's the next video. It's going up on top of the expedition. I'm gonna build the other one and um, catch you guys later.